Hi guys, I'm here today to share the first episode of my attachment bootcamp course with you. I am really proud of this program. It is built to help people overcome their insecurities, to connect deeper with their families, to build better friendships, better romantic relationships, better marriages, and to get you to that moment where you feel like you are living your life purpose and connecting with other people in the way you've always wanted to. That's my goal here, and I know I accomplished it. And I want you to see this first episode so that you can see how awesome it is on the inside. Thank you for watching. Please click the link in the description. You can get your copy there. Grab that copy because you're not going to want to miss it. And enjoy this sneak peek. Hello. Welcome to Attachment Boot Camp, the 10-step process to improve your attachment today. I'm Adam Lane Smith, an attachment specialist. You might recognize me from my TikTok, my YouTube, my Twitter, my books, and my other courses where I talk about attachment. I love attachment, and I talk about it just about everywhere I go. The number one question I get wherever I go is, what is an attachment specialist? An attachment specialist is someone who works on whole life improvement to help you heal your relationship with yourself, connect to other people, and build a legacy that matters. Something that really means something to you and will for your whole life. Now my specialty in attachment comes from a lot of places. Number one, six years in school to get my master's degree in psychology. That was with an emphasis in marriage and family therapy. My whole focus has been on systems and my schooling has reflected that. After that, I did three years of apprenticeship under five different clinicians with four different licenses in different states even. Some of them worked in group homes as administrators. One of them was a head of a county correctional facility, one of the biggest in the United States and in the area known for some of the most violent crimes. I got my license as a licensed marriage and family therapist and I worked for years, not only in in-home treatment with individuals who are disabled due to mental illness, I worked in correctional facilities and I worked in a clinic where I had my own office and saw patients sometimes as many as 10 per day, 10 hours of therapy in a row, no breaks, because I loved it so much. Now I retired from therapy and I terminated my license so that I could coach internationally because you just can't do that as a therapist. And here I am today, inventing attachment specialist. This is my new role that I've designed for myself and that I hope to bring other people into in the future. But for now, I'm here with you to give specialized one-on-one -on -one training through this course. Now you might be wondering what I actually did during all those years, when I had my license, when I was apprenticing. It's a good question. A lot of people have credentials, but they've got nothing to back it up. And I do. I solved a lot of problems. When I did in-home treatment with people, I worked with people who had nothing in their life. They had not lived a normal daily life in years, sometimes decades. Sometimes they'd been stuck in their home so long they didn't remember how to live on the outside world. I would go in and I'd help them fix that daily life. We'd start from scratch, even if that meant brushing their teeth, combing their hair, and putting pants on in the morning. I worked with families that were broken, families who hadn't been able to speak or be in the same room in years, and we made it work. Step by step, process by process, what comes first and what comes second. That was my job. When I worked in corrections, I worked with death penalty inmates, sometimes who had murdered multiple people. I worked with gang member dropouts. I worked with people who had done some of the worst crimes you could possibly imagine. I won't even mention them on this in case you're queasy and sick to your stomach. Just know they were some of the worst crimes, some of them you probably have read about in the newspaper. I helped those people. I helped them figure out why they did those things. I helped them figure out how to stop doing those things because many of them did hate themselves. And a lot of them had children at home. I had to help them figure out how to parent from behind bars, even if they never got out again. If they were in there for 10 years and their kids were at home without a father, without a mother, whatever the case might be, it was my job to show them step by step how to make that work, and I did. And when I worked in the clinic as a licensed marriage and family therapist, I treated everybody. I had people come in who were homeless addicts, people come in who had meth addictions, heroin addictions, every addiction you can imagine, porn addiction, video game addiction, gambling addiction. I had people come in who had just pawned their wedding ring to pay for the gambling addiction, and I had to help them figure out how to tell their wife that they didn't have a, a ring anymore. That was my job and it was tough, but you know what? I loved it. I also worked with millionaire entrepreneurs, trust fund families, people who had just about everything that you and I dream about. And you know what? Many of them had the same problems that you and I have, just on a different scale, sometimes even the same scale. You'd be amazed what a family looks like and how similar it is, regardless of how much money is involved. 
What really makes the difference is attachment. And that's why I'm here today to teach you about that. Because over the years, that has been the one piece I have found that made the biggest difference for families and for individuals was the health of their attachment. Whether they had 20 million in the bank or if they were just about homeless and living out of their car, attachment made all the difference in the world. Some of the other accomplishments that I've made along the way. I've published a few books, a few. A lot of them have been psychology books focused on attachment because that has become my specialty. And that's how I became known mostly online was teaching people attachment through fairly inexpensive books. But they wanted more. They really wanted more. And those books have been used by clinicians across the United States. They're being used right now to teach people how to fix their attachments and repair their families. People come in with that book and hand it to their clinician and say, let's go buy this book and figure out how to fix me like this. And they do. And it works. There's a lot of clinicians who write to me and say, I have started using your book with all of my patients because it is so effective at treating the base levels of everything else. The foundation that has been missing that we have to repair before we can fix anything else is attachment. And they thank me for producing those books. This course is a greatly expanded version of it that doesn't just show how to fix, it shows how to boost. It shows how to improve beyond fixing so that you are good for the rest of your life. That is my goal by the end of this course, that you have a self-correcting attachment that carries you through the rest of your life. Now, as I've worked through the years, I've also trained other clinicians. So this course, all this training, this doesn't make a difference to me. I love teaching. I love being in front of a camera. I love teaching people one-on-one -on -one and giving that information so that they know what they need to do. I have consults that I've been doing. I have done just about everything. So I hope that you'll walk with me through this journey and that you enjoy this process with me. The biggest thing I want you to take away right now, right at the very beginning, is that there is no such thing as a hopeless case. No matter how bad things are, I can guarantee you, I have worked with a case worse than yourself. I built my reputation around the United States for being the guy that they send people to when it's too hard for other therapists. When other therapists are intimidated, at my last clinic I worked at, the clinical director had me right there in case anything went wrong with another therapist. If they had to transfer someone from someone else to me because it was too intimidating, they hadn't seen it, it was a weird case, they had murdered too many people and the therapist wasn't willing to take that person on, it came to me. And I love that reputation because that means when someone comes to me, they can be confident that they know it's not gonna be too much. I'm not gonna get up and run out of the room. And I want you to know that. I want you to remember that as we go through this, because you might feel like it's hopeless for yourself. You might feel like it's too complicated. You might say you're too weird. A lot of people, when I worked therapy, they would come in and say, I have never admitted this thing to anybody because I was afraid it would make people think I was weird. And they would admit something to me that was perfectly vanilla. <laughs> it made almost no difference. They, and I would tell people at the very beginning, as long as you've killed less than 10 people, we will get along just fine. I can still help you. That's what I want you to carry today is that you have that hope. It's not too bad, it's not too far, and you're not too weird. Now my personal experience, I've been married for 13 years. I've been with my wife for 14 years. I have four children of my own. I live this attachment in my daily life. I have to teach it to little kids. I have to help my wife instill it in our kids. So I have to practice it and be able to spout it off at a moment's notice. I've got a lot of friends who have kids and I help them whenever they need advice. I love doing it. Attachment is my bread and butter. It's my daily breath. It is everything that I do. So when I'm talking to you today, I'm not just some random internet guru who doesn't know anything about attachment. Everything I've told you so far should tell you why I live and breathe attachment. Don't take everything I say as gospel truth. Think about it for yourself, but be aware this has been years and years of study, more than 10 years, more than 10 years of obsessive study into why the human brain works, leading me to attachment and why we need it so much. And everything in this course is gonna teach you how to do it better. Now, as you can guess, a lot of therapists don't come from the best family backgrounds. My extended family had their own share of problems. A lot of adoptions, a lot of abuse in the distant past, a lot of foster children, all kinds of things that broke attachment over and over and over. So people in my family, extended wise, had a very hard time connecting. I had to fix all that when it came time to have kids because I knew I wanted to help them avoid the trap I had fallen in and that so many members in my family and in the families around me had fallen in. It's important to fix that and I've had to fix that step by step. So what I'm gonna share with you today is everything I have fixed in my own life and in my family to give us the absolute best chance to be good and loving with each other. 
Now, if you're taking this course, there's a good reason that you picked a course called Attachment Bootcamp on how to improve your attachment. Odds are good you're at least interested in attachment or you probably have some attachment issues yourself. If that's the case, you're in good company because a lot of people have that issue nowadays and it seems to be growing as the generations get younger and younger. There's more and more attachment problems as we go. So you are not alone. And again, I wanna remind you that I've worked with cases that are way worse than you. Unless you have killed dead people, we're fine. Don't sweat it. You're gonna be okay. This course is designed to help you fix it. It's designed to help you boost it. It's designed to help you achieve everything you have been wanting to achieve in your life. I'm not promising endless happiness and euphoria for the rest of your life, but I do wanna give you a self-correcting system that you can use for the rest of your life to then accomplish what you want. This course is for you, even if your life sucks right now. Even if you think you can't do the work. Even if it seems like it would take too much to fix all of it. If you can just do a little bit of work every single day, diligently, just a little bit, you can make the changes. I have had people come into my office when I was a therapist. They'd be addicted to heroin. And 30 days later, after fixing their attachment, they threw themselves into fixing it. 30 days later, no longer had any cravings for heroin. They had better relationships and they were living a better life already. They would say things like, I don't even recognize my life. What happened? I am so much happier. I hate the drugs now and I don't even want them near me. I don't even need any medications to stay off of them. 30 days. I had one couple that I remember come in two weeks after the husband had been discovered having an affair. Two weeks. And it turned out both of them had bad attachment. We fixed their attachment three weeks later after that first day. They reported higher marital satisfaction than they'd ever experienced even as newlyweds. Even while dating, they were happier. This does not take years of fixing to fix these attachment issues. To, if you understand what the problems are, if you can understand the content of it, if you know what attachment is, it makes it so much easier to just do it. And I will show you the 10 step process to implement it in your life after I teach you what attachment is. I will get you there. Now to get there, we're going to talk about three different circles. One is yourself. One is fixing yourself, your inner circle. The second is fixing the first ring of outer circle, your friends, your family, those closest to you. And the third is romance. It's teaching you how to get connected with somebody that you really love. The three pieces we're gonna be hitting in this course are yourself, those absolute closest to you, and your romantic partner. Those are the three pieces. And if you don't have a romantic partner yet, don't worry, because I've got a piece in that to show you how to get one, the best one. Some of the problems that this is gonna help you fix is self-hate anger at yourself. Just can't stand yourself. You think that you are a crappy human being. Toxic relationships where you just can't get out of them. You can't say no. Being lonely all the time. Even if you're in a crowd of people. In fact, sometimes especially if you're in a crowd of people. Being lonely with the people you love is the worst. But it happens. And that's a really clear flag for attachment. When you ask yourself questions like, why are the people in my life doing this? Why are they hurting me? Why aren't they spending time with me? Why aren't they focused on me? When you spend time thinking and agonizing over mistakes you might have made in advance because no one has told you yet if you have, but you might have made them and you might need to run damage control. All of that will stop when you fix your attachment. Those are the problems we're gonna be fixing here because those get in the way of everything, including your job, including your finances and your life satisfaction. If we solve those problems, and we will, everything else will get better. Now this course is not just for people who are miserable. Even if you're happy, Attachment can help boost every other part of your life because I'm going to teach you key communication skills, phrases, and all kinds of good relationship dynamics that you need to help you succeed in every area of life, whether that's personal, romantic, financial, everything. Everything will get better by the end of this course because you will have those skills that you need to make your life better. Now, I've used the word attachment a lot so far, and you might wonder what attachment is. A lot of people ask me that. A lot of people say, isn't attachment bad? Isn't that that thing in Buddhism that they teach you to avoid? One same word, two different meanings. Attachment in this case, well, you know what? We'll get to that in a minute. I'm gonna run you through a whole video on attachment about what it means, how it forms, and where it comes from, and why it is so important. We're gonna get you there. And that's just a crash course. I'm not talking 10 hours, and you don't have to be a psychology major to understand it. This is not a textbook. It's key pieces that every person can listen to, pick up, and carry on. 
because if you can explain it to other people, then I've done my job. Now I told you, this is a 10 step process. After I teach you about attachment, there's gonna be 10 steps and they're broken into those three circles. Number one is yourself. You're gonna to learn to be open with other people, but that's scary. So step two is also how to conquer your fears. Step three is to stop the worry cycle. Step four is to figure out what your needs are so you can share them with people. All of that will help you be more open to other people and be better in yourself. So you can live within your own skin without hating yourself. Part number two, other people. So first, you're gonna learn how to make real friends and how to weed out any toxic friends in your life. Any toxic people in your life, you'll be able to remove them and you'll fill those gaps and you'll have more and more people that you actually want in your life. And then you're gonna build those social circles. You're gonna improve them, polish them, and make them great. And then the third process, third circle. Four pieces in that one. This is all about romance. So number one is how to date because modern dating is absolutely broken. How to date number one and then how men bond, how women bond, and how you can build a forever love and a life and a marriage that will last. And that's what you want. Everything that comes before it leads up to that love, that moment of how to have love in your life. And it's, it is romance at the end. It is focused on how to have a good romantic love at the end, but also how to have a good family, how to have good friends, how to have everything balanced. Because if you have that, you can make everything work. And isn't that the goal? Isn't it to live a good quality life that you actually enjoy? That's the 10 steps. I'm gonna jump into them right now. The very next thing I'm gonna teach you is what attachment is and why you need to think about it.